I don't look like ghostly. Here in my kitchen, and I'll tell you what we did. Every Monday we are doing happy hour for the expansion members. And this week I brought on Jay to talk about his philosophy on running a business during difficult times. And it somehow segued into his genius work, which is fitness and nutrition and mindset. Some of you have had uh, the opportunity to take his workouts. They're no joke, right? Uh, so when we started talking about healthy snacks, people wanted to know about healthy snacks for themselves, uh, from for their kids during this time of quarantine. And Jay shared something that I can tell you. He practices what he preaches. We have a lot in common that way, Jay and I. And one of them is he is a healthy snacker. So he shared with the girls his protein pudding. That's hard to say, tongue twister. And they've been asking since we did that for the recipe. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and you get to watch Jay make his famous protein pudding. Actually, as a matter of fact, I have found out uh, I'm not sleeping well at night for the past several years. And after a conversation I had with Suzanne Summers, she mentioned it may be my cortisol levels are way up, which Jay has been telling me forever. So um, he made this protein pudding, a special thing for me that we leave in the fridge and I take two tablespoons at night and as odd as it is, oh my God, it's helped with my sleeping. So I'm gonna flip the camera around Give him the spotlight, plan on being entertained because this guy loves to teach and to chat. So here you go. And the camera's yours. <laughs> Perfect. Smile. What's up guys? Hey, thanks for joining us today. Like Lori said, I'm just gonna teach you how to make, I call it sludge, but really what it is, it's a protein pudding, super healthy. And I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown before we jump into how you actually make it because there are some intricacies to this you're gonna wanna pay attention to or you're gonna end up with a big mess. But first and foremost, I have my own line of protein, not a sales pitch. I just want to tell you why I use this and why your protein might not work for this particular, um, this particular dish. Give it a shot. If it does, it does. Two reasons I use this one. So I created it. So it's obviously it's awesome. But what people don't realize is this is a little educational thing. Like I always said, I can't not teach. If you flip around the label on your protein and you look at the actual ingredients, you're going to see a laundry list, probably 10 to 15 to 20 ingredients. 97.63% of those you will not even be able to pronounce, much less spell. If you look at a pure natural product like mine, my product has three ingredients. That's it. You can say them all. You can spell them all. I'm not even a good speller, and I can handle it. That's why I use this, guys. Another differentiator is my protein actually has fiber in it. So that fiber is actually going to help keep you full longer. It's actually going to help facilitate this, the protein pudding as well. What's up, man? Oh, nothing. I oh, I thought you were, I I thought thought you were being loud. No, no, Rudy's having a snack. So don't, if there's any <laughs> you know, the noise in the background, it's Rudy's going snack bill. So here's what I do, guys. Today I'm going to make a simple version. You can actually doctor this up and dress it up any way you want. You can add almonds. You can add chia seeds. You can add hemp seeds. You can add some avocado in there to increase the fats. I have made this literally probably a thousand different ways. Today I'm going to make a very simple version for you with just protein, almond butter, and a little bit of cinnamon. That's kind of my standard go-to. That's the base for all of the protein sludges that I make. Um, today I've got two varieties. You can go creamy or crunchy. I'm a crunchy dude, but it's almost empty. So today I'm making a creamy. Here's the deal. You want to put your protein in first. And guys, I like to make a double batch. So I'm going to do that today because I'm going to eat this bad boy later and probably tomorrow as well. Another thing I do is I always have one of these in the refrigerator. So this isn't like a make it and eat it type of thing. You can do that, but it's better if you'll make it and put it in the fridge for a little while, it will actually get the consistency of like a cold brownie batter or a cold cookie batter. It's unbelievable. So I like to make a big one like this. I'll usually make like two or three servings and it'll kind of be my snack. If I get a sweet tooth or I need something sweet, I go to the kitchen, I get a tablespoon, I get a big scoop, I eat it and I'm done. So it's, this isn't like a one time thing or you could eat the whole thing if you made a single serving. So what I do is I take one scoop, Drop that bad boy in there. Like I said today, I'm going to make a double batch. So I'm going to do two scoops. What the hell? Let's go for two and a half, right? Okay, perfect. So here's what you need to do. Seal that back up so you don't make a mess. First trick of the trade is this. Take your fork, and yes, use a fork, trust me, and go ahead and just kind of um, use it like a mixer to take all the little um, clumps or anything out of that. Your protein shouldn't have a lot of clumps in it, but it might have a couple of little things balled together. All right, then I like to make a little well as if I'm making pasta, which I never would because it'll kill you. And I like to put the water. So take just a little bit of water. You gotta play this by ear. There's no science to like the actual water, this, water, that. 
All depends on the volume of protein, the kind of protein, your barometric pressure, your altitude. There's a lot of variables I can't get into on this call. All right, so I just put a little dab in there. You actually need less than you think, okay? So dab a little bit in the middle, and then I just start stirring. And at first, it looks like nothing's happening. But you just keep making that well. I promise you guys, this is going to be worth it. Don't go anywhere. Hang in there with me. If you're a baker, this is right up your alley. You'll start to notice it kind of, it's kind of clumping up a little bit, which I like. That's when I know that I need to add a little bit more water. So then I just add a smidge more water in there. Notice I haven't added the, the uh, peanut butter yet or the almond butter. The reason I go almond butter is peanuts tend to be a little bit inflammatory. Um, and so for if you want to decrease your overall systemic inflammation, you want to try to avoid peanut butter. So go with the cashew butter, go with an almond butter, um, sunflower seed butter. There's a whole lot of butters out there. Now you're gonna, I'm going to show you this real quick. See how it's starting to kind of consistency up like if you're making brownies? This is exactly what we're looking for. Everybody's getting excited, including me. Lori's mouth is watering. You can see it from here. So notice we're still getting clumpy, right? But I didn't overdo it. You can always add more water, guys, but you can't take the water out. Add a little bit more. Kind of like mixing the jelly face masks that we're all using. It's exactly like yes. mixing the jelly face masks. <laughs> if I've said that once, I've said it a thousand times. <laughs> so, okay, now here we go. So this looks like it's a little too watery. It's not, because remember, I'm still going to add Show them. Water. Hold the bowl okay, up. Okay, okay. See, that's a little bit, it's got a little bit of liquid in there, but I'm not worried. I'm not concerned yet. So I'm going to keep stirring until all my protein is mixed in, just like you were making something you shouldn't be making, like a brownie or a cake or can something like that. Can I hit the like pause that. button for a second? You can do it. It's your Kayla show. said you she doesn't anymore. know what's happening, but she's drooling. Tell everybody quickly what you're making. Kayla, I'm actually making a healthy <laughs> snack. It's called protein pudding. I call it sludge. It's going to be kind of like a, um, a brownie batter or a cookie batter that's really, really healthy for you. You're going to want to go back and watch the first of this video, Kayla, because um, you don't want to miss anything. Here's tip number two. Okay. Wait, tip they don't even know who you are. Jay's my oh, significant oh, other. <laughs> way. Jay makes it at your service. If you don't know that by now, come on, guys. Okay, look at it. See? It's got the consistency of kind of a... I'm cool, right? Because I'm going to put it in the fridge, and it's going to get thicker. I could eat it right now if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Because I'm going to make it even better. So that's what you're looking for. And then here's the next pro tip. Do not go into your peanut butter with your sludge fork because the other person in your home will yell at you when they see the chocolate in the thing. I'm living by experience there. So obviously you got a little bit of oil on the top. Don't worry about that. It's not going to hurt you. I get about a heaping tablespoon. Let that puppy just go down in there. Right? Perfect. You're going to see how easy this is. Now you want to stir that got to get a little more vigorous. You might get a bicep pump off of this, which I consider to be killing two birds with one stone. It's definitely, I'm going to show you this really quick, guys. See how it's already started just with that little bit of peanut butter? It's already started to thicken up a little bit more. So now we're at the perfect consistency. I mean, literally, I'm going to be honest with you. If you guys weren't watching right now, I'd probably be licking off the spoon. It's that good. Lastly, I like to add a little cinnamon. Cinnamon does a couple things. Cinnamon helps to regulate blood sugar. A lot of people don't know that. So I add cinnamon to mine, and I just like the flavor of it. Babe, we're almost out of cinnamon. We got a situation. Isn't there a so, specific cinnamon that's better? So you want to get, yeah, so here's the, uh, can, I mean, can I, can I, can I <laughs> show us this? Can I do this? This is can my I, show. Okay, you're, you're a right, guest. You're right. I'm, I'm guest. the host. I'm just going to okay. put a little bit in here, guys. I just drizzle. I don't measure, because if I overdo cinnamon, I don't care, because I really like the flavor. And then again, I'm just going to continue to stir. I'm, I'm going to show you this. You guys are going to be going bananas here in a second. Speaking of bananas, avoid them. They're really high in sugar. Probably the, the most likely fruit you need to avoid. Did you tell them what kind berries. of cinnamon it was? I'm going to in a second. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to cross that bridge. I, we got to see this for a second, though. Check this out, right? If you're from Texas and you've ever had a blizzard, I could turn this over and it wouldn't come out of the bowl. I'm not going to do that, but I could if I wanted to. And remember, I could eat this right now if I wanted to, guys, and it'd be absolutely delicious. It's kind of like a brownie batter. But if you'll put it in the fridge, I leave one in the fridge all the time, so that's totally cool. If you'll put it in the fridge for at least an hour, it's going to get the consistency of something that's going to blow your face off. You're absolutely going to love this. So, guys, I'm going to butcher this, so I'm going to spell it for you. There's several different kinds of cinnamon. The cinnamon you want to be using, regardless of what you're using it for, baking, putting your coffee, anything, is called, I'm going to mess this up, it's called Corangito or something like that. So it's K-O-R-I-N-T-J-E. Spell it again. You can see how I, I messed that up. Yeah, okay. K-O-R 
I-N-T-J-E. That's the cinnamon you want to get. What that cinnamon does, it has a higher affinity. I'm dirty. <laughs> it has a higher affinity to help regulate that blood sugar, so it's just better for you. It's a, it's a, more, it's a cleaner, more pure version of cinnamon. So guys, that's it in a nutshell. That's your protein sludge. Two more things I want from you. I'll do anything. Show them the back of your shirt. Back of my shirt. This is my motto, guys. Thrive is the name of his gym. And if you're not in his, what's the name of your free Facebook group? Oh, my group? free Facebook group is called Wellness Lab Launchpad. It's 100% free. Just go and ask to get in. I'll see you when Lori's. We're doing, um, we're doing stuff like this in there all the time. We're showing other recipes. We've got workouts cooking in there. Um, we've got mindset and motivation. Right now, we really need a ton of that. And so it's a really great, safe place where you can come. You don't have to worry about drama, negativity. I don't even allow the C word to be used. And so it's what a... What is the C word? That sounds awful. Coronavirus, baby. We're okay. Gonna, we're living under a rock or whatever. We're, we're in a damn pandemic all of a sudden. You don't even know C what, the C word what I was talking different. about. Well, I don't allow that C word either. For God's <laughs> sakes. It's a clean group. I'm telling you. I mean, I'll get a little wild. No C words. Let's put it like that. <laughs> yeah, that's what is wrong with you? And then also, <laughs> in expansion group, they were asking Jay. Hold on, hold on, guys, check it out. See, it's already thickening up. It's getting ridiculous. We're gonna have to go soon because this is gonna get eaten. Go ahead, Beth. All right. So they want to know. Actually, the expansion girls wanted to know healthy snacks for their kids because they're eating all day long. Guys, this will blow your kid's mind. They will not even know it's healthy. But give them some of the other ideas you gave too. I will, can I can I finish my spit? <laughs> <here on this? laughs> if, and, and listen, guys, you can like I said, you can mix, uh, you can make this anyway. Hemp seeds. Chia seeds, hemp hearts. You can dazzle this up if you want. You can even make this, throw a couple of berries on top, and your kid's going to think they got some kind of ganache from the fanciest restaurant in town. They're going to think you made brownies and decided just to say to hell with it, not make the brownies, leave it in the batter. They will not. It's got a sweet taste to it. They will not know that this is a healthy dish. So you're going to kill two birds with one stone. Other things you could be doing, guys, for your kids. I mean, I'm a firm believer we want to... You get into my metrics here. So healthier the better, right? Everything we ingest in here goes up here. Your belly is your second brain. So if we're giving kids these high sugary snacks and then we expect them to behave in a calm, peaceful, non-chaotic manner. We're the, crazy. We're crazy. We're the ones that are violating that, you know, the mutual respect we should have for each other. I'm so what you what's going on, Ben? <laughs> I'm great. So guys, just make sure your snacks are low sugar. I would be, I would cut up a bunch of cucumbers. I would cut up a bunch of veggies. I would have some fruit in there. Like I said, berries are great. Strawberries, blueberries, blackberries. Make this. I'm telling you. Look at this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. See, look. Doesn't even come out. It's like a blizzard if you're from Texas or somewhere in the south where they have Dairy Queens. It's so good. I'm even gonna lick the fork. Unbelievable, guys. And this is what will happen. Get your kids involved. They'll make this with you. Make it a fun experience if they're old enough. And then you can teach them about the health benefits and why eating something like this is more beneficial than eating a Go-Gurt or eating something of that nature that's just going to spike their blood sugars, make them feel crazy. And right now we need no more crazy, right? We need everybody to be calm and cool. Another C word. Um, God just made her. She was on the call the other night. God, I love it. I love it. I love it. And guys, I can answer any questions later on. If somebody tries to make this and they have a snafu or whatever, just post down below and Lori will bring me on. And you did I say can... something earlier that I think maybe would be worth repeating some protein powder you just can't do this with and yeah with the long ingredient list, well yeah you're or... gonna find that certain protein powders especially the ones that have a lot of artificials a lot of artificial sweeteners binders fillers things you don't need and your body doesn't need them because it, your body views those as a foreign toxin but as far as the sludge goes some of those are going to get really clumpy on you and not allow you to be able to stir it into and you're going to have these gross little balls of of chemicals and protein attached and it's just because of the structuralization of how the protein is put together. Chemicals don't really do what this protein just did because they want to bind together and create clumps. Now, this is not a sales pitch, but if you guys do want to buy it, tell them where they can get your protein. Yeah, it's super simple. If you guys don't have a protein you love or you've got one that you, you thought you loved until you flipped around the label and realized that it's probably killing you, um, you can just go to thriveforeverfit.com. So the word thrive, the word forever, the word fit.com, and then go to shop. You'll see my protein, my branched chain amino acids, my gut health. You'll see everything there. If you have any questions on that too, you can also send me a message. Or if you forget what that URL is, you can just ask Lori and we can drop the mess. We can drop the link right in here if anybody's interested. Okay, guys. Any questions 
uh, before we go, type them in because we're, I know this is a little bit of a delay, but type in if you have any questions for Jay about protein pudding or what he likes to call sludge. Um, Can anything. I also say, guys, I use this in, we, I bake with this, I make everything with this. So what I do is I'll find a recipe for something that like looks delicious and then I'll make it Jay approved by removing all of the flour all of the, the carbohydrates that are, you know, the high sugar inducing carbohydrates, all the sugar, and I actually use the protein almost as like a flour substitute, works out 97.6329% of the time. Occasionally you get one of those weird things where it just doesn't, but most of the time, this is a great substitute. So you can get more protein in your diet, more protein in your kids' diets without having to really go off the rails. I think, you know what, this happened yesterday too. I couldn't see. We had a big delay on my Facebook Live yesterday. They yeah. came in like five minutes after we, we shut it off. So, all right, guys. Sorry we can't answer your questions. They're not popping up. But put them in here, and I'll bring Jay to my computer later to answer any questions. Thanks for joining us. We're just looking for things to do to entertain ourselves and you guys. So this was fun. Have okay. an awesome day. Bye, guys.